greetings and salutations. Happy Saturday to you all. Uh, right, so today we're looking at this Modus C4, as shown here. Um, I've been wanting to do this review for a while, but I did lose my box and um, I have no idea where it is. I still can't find it, so let, let's crack on anyway. Uh, right, so what do you get then? You get your RDA. Uh, you get a squonk pin, you get two triple fuse Clapton coils, point two. Um, Got a nice 510 connector on the bottom there. It's a Modus C4. Uh, two drip tips, one of which actually is living on something else because it matches that. Uh, very nice drip tip, actually. Very nice. Uh, and you also get a snub nosed Delrin. I think it was black, I think. Now, it must be said, on these drip tips, the, the, the seal, the rubber ring, is actually on the drip tip end and not on the RDA end. Uh, so that, that was a pain to get in there. <laughs> It was a pain, uh, but it was going on because it was matching, of course. Um, and I've actually just cut, picked up another one there just for a bit of something else. Um, let's stick it on that our device then. Adjustable airflow there. And you can see we've got some nice honeycomb uh, slots there. Uh, you've got this nice, well, if you're into that sort of silver line. Uh, I'm not actually a fan of that myself. Uh, and now inside. Uh, one downside with this one, with most single coil drippers that I use, uh, you can see the uh, there's a screw there and a screw there, both Allen keys to put your coil in. Um, I'd like to have seen a screw there and a screw there as well, so of course if your coil's wrapped one way or the other way, you can just whack it in, it doesn't really matter. Um, I did try and put one in that was wrapped the other way but it was it was way too low so it's kind of messing around with lifting it up and stuff um, so yeah you have to make sure your coil is wrapped a particular direction for that uh, nice deep juice well though uh, well <sighs> relatively deep but actually pro of this it's actually quite wide as well so you can actually fit quite a lot of juice in there uh, and although the airflow is quite low I've not had any particular issues with leaking um, I think the reason for that these honeycomb holes are actually run quite a distance to get from there to there. Um, so juice is going to struggle to get out even if you uh, drip it a little bit too much. I've not squonked this. I'm just sort of getting back into squonking, sort of trying to try to love it a little bit. Um, but one of the big pros of this, this is how much cotton it takes to wick it up. Let's get that bad boy wicked up then quickly. Um, I picked this up down with the Vape Expo, quite a nice deal on it. Um, and do you know what? I've seen a couple of mixed reviews on this. And I'd actually say it's actually pretty, pretty good. Not the best, you know, it's not, uh, it's not Paradox good, it's not, uh, I'm trying to think what the good single coils are, Wasp good. <laughs> um, but it's definitely well over average. Definitely well over average there. Uh, so you're not going to be you're not going to be let down with this. Um, and I have had quite a number of different builds in there as well. Uh, I've tried some formal gap holes. I think that's a two and a half mil uh, coil. Sorry. Um, and yeah, more than happy. You know, I mean, I did pick it up a little bit cheaper than uh, than normal. Um, but yeah, can't complain. More than happy with my purchase. Uh, and of course, it says Modus, so it's awesome. <laughs> Hashtag as Modus fanboy. But I'll never turn that on it, really. Using some uh, <laughs> deep fried ice cream I got cheap. <laughs> uh, yeah, the guy in the shop said it would just be sweet as hell, and it is pretty much sweet as hell. The flavor's all there, absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, I've not played around too much with closing the airflow airflow down a bit. I'm a bit jittery today, aren't I? But again, the flavor, absolutely fantastic, yeah. Loving that. Uh, so yeah, that's Moda C4. I imagine you can pick one up quite cheap nowadays, because uh, in the current sort of school of RDAs, it's now old. <laughs> yeah, if something's a month, it's old. Um, and we do keep getting to throw new RDAs and new tanks all the time, uh, it seems nowadays. So uh, 
uh, things are going out of fashion pretty quickly. Uh, so yeah, if you get one cheap, definitely pick it up. Um, not the greatest, but well over average. Uh, so yeah, definitely a thumbs up for me. Five minutes, that's enough. And we'll catch you guys later. <laughs>